Over time, I've worked on some animations for some spray-based products. And it took me a while to try to figure out how to make a spray look realistic. You know, how it should actually look when you spray a perfume bottle or something. But after a while, I figured it out. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a realistic looking spray simulation. So we have our empty blender screen. First thing we we'll do is delete everything as usual. Then add a sphere. Shift A, UV sphere. Now we are going to delete half of this sphere. So hit tab to enter edit mode, Alt Z for transparency mode, select half of this and hit X, delete. Now we'll have this other half, Alt Z to get out of transparency mode. So this is going to be the part that will do the spraying. Now next thing we we'll do is to go to particle property, hit this plus here to add a new particle system. Uh, if we press play now, you can see. Some little things are dropping, but this is not what our spray should look like. It should be an actual object. So let's add a cube. Shift A, mesh, cube. Take it somewhere else. Now go back to our sphere or hemisphere in this case. Go to particle properties, scroll down to render. And in the option where you see render as, change it from halo to object. Then pick the object from here. Instance object, choose cube. So instead of halo falling down, it's now the cubes are falling down. You can see it's pretty much spraying in the wrong direction. So the next thing you can do is to scroll down to field weights and turn off gravity. The fact that it's falling down means gravity is on. So just slide this down to zero. Go back to the beginning, start again. Ah, uh, you see it's no longer sliding down. Okay, let's reduce our timeline to hundred. Cool. So we can see it very quickly. Next thing we're going to do here is go to velocity. Now mess with the normal and reduce it and let's see how it looks. Okay, now it's not even coming out properly. Let's increase the normal. Yeah, it's spraying a lot better now. Let's increase it a little bit more. Okay, the next important thing to do is to change object aligned X. Increase the object aligned X property and you would notice that our spray is converging. The higher it is, the slimmer or narrower our spray would be. If we reduce it, it starts to spread out even more. I want our spray to spread out quite a bit, something like this, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Now let's increase the emission of our objects. So under emission number, increase this to 10,000. Let's see how it is. See, this looks good right it actually looks like a spray but the problem with this is that it's such an organized spray that it looks like they were arranged in a particular manner we want it to be randomized you don't want to see these lines here so go back down to velocity under randomize just increase it a bit now you can see the spray is very random these objects are large <laughs> particles are usually tinier than this so let's find our original object the cube and scale it down a bit if you scale this up, it will affect the emitter. If you scale it down, it will affect it. Yeah, the smaller it is, the more realistic it's going to look as a particle. See, very tiny objects, like water particles. Let's reduce the scale of this hemisphere just a bit. Yeah. Yeah, this looks really nice. Let's quickly model a perfume looking spray. So, had a cube, scale it on the Z axis. Move it on the x-axis just so you can see this hemisphere. Cool. Now this is the top of our spray bottle. Let's duplicate this cube. Shift D, Z. And increase the size of it. Increase the scale. So this is our perfume right here. Just for example, <laughs> it's very quick modeling. Let's bring it down a bit. Yeah. So this is pretty much a perfume bottle. If you want to animate a quick spray, like a quick perfume puff, just come here and animate this object. So on frame one, let's insert a keyframe on location Z. On frame, say 15, insert another keyframe. We'll drag it down like this, and then we insert another keyframe. And then on frame 30, let's copy this first one and paste it on frame 30. I have to go down, up, yeah down and up 
Now another important thing is to parent this guy to this other one. So click on the hemisphere first and click on the cube second. Control P, object. So it will follow our object. You can see as it goes up, it goes up. As it comes down, it comes down. Now this is not realistic actually. The emitter is supposed to start emitting when this has gotten to the bottom. So at this point, somewhere here, at 11, yeah, that is when our simulation should start. So click on the hemisphere, go to frame start and change it to 11. So it doesn't start until it comes downwards. Yeah. And it should stop spraying the moment it's going back upwards. So somewhere here at 19 or 20. So frame starts at 11 and frame end at 20. Let's see how that looks. Start from the beginning. Okay, that's a lot of particles. Okay, this is too low. Let's reduce it. Let's see how it looks. Cool, that actually works. Yeah, you have successfully created a spray simulation. So you can mess with these settings however you like. If you want your object to be a lot smaller, you can just reduce it here. There is a way of reducing through the particle settings, but you can do that here. Uh, you can change the timing however you please and just mess with it to get the result you want. If you want it to be a continuous spray, that is when you press it down, it just keeps going. So let's delete this keyframe. You press it down. And it just keeps going you change the frame end to like 100 for example yeah so when you press it down you just keep spraying like an insecticide let's change the normal this thing is spraying too far wide let's reduce the normal a bit yeah so it doesn't interfere with the bottle let's make this a bit smaller as it would be on an actual perfume bottle yeah so you see we already have our spray simulation you could just mess with this however you please you could do your entire animation with the actual perfume object and have it parented and then whenever you decide to do the spray animation it's just going to puff and it's going to look very realistic and very cool so depending on what your pc can handle that's what will determine the number of particles you use here you can make this even a lot smaller than this and increase the particles Let's say to 50,000. Yeah, you can do that while reducing this cube to be very small. It's going to look even more realistic. But then you can see that it's affecting the performance because it's, there are just so much particles. And that's how it is when you're spraying in real life. There are a lot of tiny particles that are just flowing together. So guys, yeah, that's how I make a spray simulation that looks realistic. You should probably try it in your next project. If you're working on a perfume, any sort of body spray, whatever product that involves spraying, try it out. Tag me on Instagram. Let me see. I would like to see it. Please like this video if you learned something from it and subscribe to my channel so they don't send me back to my village. So guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully soon. Peace.